This is Adam Denny, Dave Chamberlain's real estate photographer here on a personal assignment, wishing Dave a happy birthday. So happy birthday, Dave. I thought I'd put together some of your extreme sports clips that we filmed throughout the years and made a cool video so you can share them with your friends and family. It was another beautiful April morning in 2022 in Surfside and Dave decides to visit his friend south of the Seal Beach Pier. He had choices. He could either paddleboard, e-foil over there, but today he decides to fly over there. So he gets clearance from air traffic control and launches his new school electric power paraglider. He says it's a lot like Tesla's when it comes to thrust. Always a team player, Dave looks out for sea predators and notifies the lifeguards if he spots any. This is Dave in Canyon Lake after a 25 year hiatus. Looks like he's still at the touch at 45 miles per hour. Back in the day, he and his friends would do beach starts, dock starts, and barefooting backwards. Dave and his family barefooted in Canyon Lake in the late 80s and early 90s, and his son Clint is still the world's youngest barefooter at age two. Dave's e-foil board is his new favorite water toy. This combines foil boarding with an electric motor and these boards can really get up and go. It looks like he's riding on a magic carpet surfboard as he glides effortlessly above the water. This gives Dave the freedom to jet across the water and to go wherever he wants to go with ease. He can also catch waves by using the power of the electric motor to catch the wave and then turn the motor off and ride the wave like a surfer. One of Dave's favorite morning time sports is to go stand up paddle boarding. He loves to get up early and to go paddle out to the oil rig, look for his dolphin buddies and all the sea life. And then when you're all done, you get to catch a wave and ride it straight into the shore. Dave has been kite surfing since 1998. It was the big air that drew him instantly to kite surfing and he's been doing it ever since. And in Dave's front yard happens to be one of the best spots in the area. This gives him the ability to squeeze in quick kite surfing sessions between meetings with clients and closing big deals. These sessions are what he calls board meetings. So if you're working with Dave and he says, hey, I got a board meeting to go to, you can probably find him riding right out front of his house. A big surprise for a surfer off Sunset Beach. No, it is not a whale. It gives a whole new meaning, though, to jumping the shark. We're out here in Surfside, California with celebrity realtor Dave Chamberlain. He likes to hit the water surfing, kite surfing, e-foiling, stand-up paddling, and more. As you can see, the shark warning signs are up, but that does not stop a committed kite surfer. Dave actually watched the Long Beach State Marine Department tag a half dozen young great white sharks a couple years ago right in front of his house. A couple years later, the great whites weren't so small and they've decided to return. Attention in the area. This is the Orange County Sheriff's Department. Please be advised this area is heavily populated at the moment with large great white sharks. So Dave is kite surfing with a new board and it slips off his feet a few times. This time he's inside the surf and decides to body drag into shore and wait for his board to float in. While spotting his board, he sees this great white fully breach out of the water about five feet from his board. Perhaps looking to see where his next meal went. Good thing Dave got out of there in time or he might have been dinner. What a lucky guy. So about 7.30 on a Sunday morning, Dave gazed out his window and saw a large mass a few hundred yards offshore floating to the beach. He wasn't sure if it was kelp or sea life, so he decided to get on his paddleboard and investigate. As he approached, he sees a 35-foot whale's blowhole in action and realizes the whale is sleeping. Now, most people crazy enough to approach a 35-foot whale would probably keep their distance but not Dave. He was literally on top of the whale for 10 minutes and was about to slide over and sit on it when the whale opened its eyes, took a quick look at Dave, slowly ducked under the water and swam away. In 30 years, he and the rest of Surfside have never seen anything like it. 